Number three has a specific power and identity in Jewish thought. Um, once could be a fluke, twice might be an accident, but once you've done something three times, it's as if you've created a new foundation, a new way of being in the world. It's like the beginning of creating a habit. Once you've done three, it's considered an official beginning. Um, three is like we have grounds to stand on. And when I say grounds to stand on, you have to look at this. In our first fellowship, we completed the roof of the house of prayer. And it was like, wow, we had just created this fellowship, which is a virtual house of prayer. And the outside of the structure was complete. This week, we finished the inside of the floor. We finally put down the marble floors modeled after the temple in Jerusalem. Um, it's, they're not like ceramic porcelain tiles. They're thick slabs of marble. And our roof is done. Now the floors are done. I don't know how to explain this to you. When the coronavirus hit, everything shut down and the gates were closed, but somehow this fellowship created this virtual house of prayer. And now our house of prayer in Judea is starting to be built again. It's like the coronavirus, the riots, the looters, the chaos, but somehow our house of prayer in the mountains of Judea is somehow miraculously being built. Watch this video I made for you guys. All right, guys, I wanted to just give you an update. Right behind me is the Beit Tefillah, the outside, was finished the week of the fellowship and now as we're getting deeper into the fellowship look what's happening today we're walking into the building right here inside we're now laying the floors the floors are happening now they're just now being laid these are the beautiful workers that are here Avinoam, Akiva it's just one of the most beautiful buildings in all of Israel <laughs> that's just that simple and so here we are, the foundations are being laid, the floors are being laid for the house of prayer for all nations. All right, my friends, it's happening. This fellowship is in some ways the virtual spiritual manifestation of that building. And it looks like we're building something online here. We're experiencing something through computers as we learn and pray together from around the world. Um, we could never be globally connected in Torah and prayer without this virtual reality of Zoom. But somehow, at the same time, we are building something very real, made of stones, a monument to God. And as we trans transition into this new era of human history, um, this is our mark. It's believers from around the world came together to build a place to honor our creator together.